हेलो एवरीबॉडी एंड माय नेम इज नरेंद्र कुमार एंड वी आर फ्रॉम नरेंद्र एकेडमी एंड टुडे वी आर हियर टू डू द टेंथ क्लास एस एस सी ए पी चैप्टर वन सिलेबस हीट विच इज पार्ट ऑफ फिजिक्स सो वी कैन कॉल इट फिजिक्स कोर कॉन्सेप्ट विथ एक्टिविटीज सो इट्स अ वंडरफुल सिलेबस वंडरफुल सिलेबस वन एक्टिविटी वन कॉन्सेप्ट so today we'll be doing the first activity there's a small introduction and i will teach through textbook reading why we should do textbook reading word by word so that firstly whatever point can comes in the board exam we can answer and secondly the textbook is really a wonderful textbook written by experts okay so it'll be a far easier way on the one hand we'll get marks also on the other hand we'll get a lovely concepts also clear understanding of concepts so let's start chapter 1 so it's page number 1 chapter 1 heat you can just listen to me and understand the concept chapter 1 heat recall the experiments you did in class 7th with the glass tumblers containing cold water lukewarm water and hot water so it's a very famous um, uh, experiment like you put your hand in a hot water you put your hand in a cold water put both the hands in lukewarm water you get funny uh, funny funny kinds of um, differences the hot hand will feel cold <laughs> and the cold hand will feel hot how is that possible so that time we saw that we'll go go for a deeper understanding we understood that hot and cold are relative terms relative terms it is in relation to what you are touching if you touch one thing you are feeling hot if you are touching another thing you are feeling cold that is a very deep point if you catch that point you have understood the basic concept we'll go further so we understood that hot and cold are relative terms and that heat was a form of energy we use the temp terms temperature and heat to describe these observations so we got two critical words here temperature and heat these words technically have special meanings so this is very important in real life we say that is hot but in physics maybe we should say its temperature is high you understand so at the end of this activity and the next activity and the next activity out of three activities you will have a clear idea about the difference of the concepts of heat and temperature these words technically have special meanings in order to understand their meanings let us do some activities so that's a beautiful thing about this textbook the textbook reading activity concept activity concept otherwise we will be only mugging up this i am reading the textbook to prove to you we don't have to mug up question answers we don't have to read big big manuals we can read the textbook get a depth of understanding and then we can write our own answers and get corrected so activity 1 take a piece of wood so take a piece of wood and a piece of metal and keep them in a fridge or ice box after 15 minutes take them out them means take the wood out take the metal out and ask your friend to touch them which is colder why that is the question when we keep materials in a fridge they become cold that is they lose heat energy they lose heat energy the iron and wooden pieces were kept in the fridge for the same period of time but we feel but we feel when we touch the metal piece that it is the metal piece is colder than the wooden piece same time we put it's a wonder question here i took a wooden piece room temperature i took a, um, a metal piece room temperature put both of them in the fridge for the same time but when i took it out the wooden piece is cold okay but the metal piece is colder 
at the same time why what could be the reason for this difference in coldness that is a question does it have any relation to the transfer of heat energy from our body to the object he is asking, asking a question does it have i am touching the metal piece does it have a relationship to the transfer of heat from me to the object when you touch the metal or wooden piece you feel that they are cold so why do we feel it is a cold we already understood it this means when we touch the metal or wooden piece we you feel that they are cold that means that heat energy is being transferred from your finger to the pieces i touch the wooden piece it is cold why why because heat energy is going away from me when heat energy goes away from me the sensation in my brain is cold when you remove your finger you don't get a feeling of coldness okay this means that when heat energy flows out of your body you get the feeling of coldness and when heat energy enters your body your brain says hot your heat energy goes out your brain says cold you get the feeling of hotness you can test this by bringing your finger near the flame of a matchstick if you bring in near the fair it will be hot because heat energy is coming to you so if you feel that the metal piece is colder than the wooden piece it must mean see now we are coming to the colder point wooden piece is cold because heat energy is going out of me metal piece is cold because heat energy is going out of me if you feel that the metal piece is colder than the wooden piece it must mean more heat the more what is important more heat energy flows out of your body and when you touch the metal piece as compared to the wooden piece so when you touch the wooden piece heat energy is going out of your body okay when you touch the metal piece heat energy is going out of your body but more heat energy is going out of your body when you touch the metal piece that is the wonder in other words the degree of coldness of the metal piece is greater than that of the wooden piece the degree of coldness of the metal piece which makes more heat energy go out of you is greater than that of the wooden piece the conventional definition of temperature is a degree of hotness or coldness so we say that the metal piece is at a yes lower temperature as compared to the wooden piece when they are taken out of the fridge so the temperature is the degree of hotness or coldness it's more cold metal piece is more cold means it is at a lower temperature why does transfer of heat energy take place take place between objects now the next question is going to okay heat energy transfer happened why did it happen does transfer of heat uh, um, take place in all situations what are the conditions for transfer of heat energy conditions for the transfer of heat energy let us find out so the next subheading is thermal equilibrium thermal equilibrium let's write this down the next section is we understood heat and temperature isn't it we understood the difference between heat and temperature the next concept is thermal eq we librium actually we understood temperature what is temperature the degree of hotness or coldness of a body so the metal piece this is metal piece wooden piece both are cold cold but this is if this is c2 this is c1 c2 is greater than c1 more cold which means temperature temperature of metal piece it is more cold means less temperature no so temperature is lower than that much we understood now we come to thermal equilibrium heat and temperature thermal equilibrium heat and temperature when two bodies are placed in thermal contact heat energy will be transferred 
from the hotter body now we are trying to understand what is this hotter hotter body to the colder body this transfer of heat energy continues till both bodies attain the same degree of hotness a hotter body to, it flows 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 the hotness reduces here the hotness increases here until both become same at this stage we say that the bodies have achieved thermal equilibrium we are using the word thermal equilibrium thermal equilibrium is that stage when both the bodies have got the same degree of hotness which means same temperature thus the state of thermal equilibrium denotes a state of a body where it neither receives heat energy nor gives out heat energy i'm neither giving heat energy now nor am i giving out because my atmosphere and me are in thermal equilibrium if you are not feeling either cold or hot in your surroundings then your body is said to be in thermal equilibrium with the surrounding atmosphere similarly the furniture in the room is in thermal equilibrium with air in the room both have come to the same degree of hotness so we can say that the furniture and the air in the room are at the same temperature so if you notice three concepts have come here heat transfer colder colder or hotter what does it mean colder when a body i touch a body it's cold which means heat energy is going out of me if i touch a body it is hot heat energy is coming to me that's all more heat energy flows out of me because the degree of coldness of metal piece is more the degree of coldness is more the temperature is low okay so that is degree the coldness very high sorry degree of coldness is high it is very cold temperature is low so when you bring two bodies in thermal uh, thermal uh, contact heat energy flows from the hotter body to the colder body okay so we have read every word and every line now he has asked further questions heat the subheading is heat what is temperature but then what is temperature you are saying degree of hotness and how can you differentiate it from heat this is a very crucial concept let us found find out in activity 2 and that will do in the next lesson thank you so much this is narendra kumar from narendra academy thank you so much